it's time to put that back together again. He's running for president, so if you have a say, make sure you vote for him. He's currently the black student officer, Aaron Kiley. Thank you very much, Hugh. That's very kind of you. Um, and it's a bit embarrassing, to be honest. Um, I'm actually really proud to bring full backing for today and solidarity from the 7 million strong National Union of Students. The absolute racist filth from politicians and the media is poisoning society. Unfortunately, our campuses are not immune. Childline recently reported on the shocking 69% increase in the number of young people contacting them about racist bullying in schools. A figure they themselves put down to the current disgusting debate on immigration. On our campuses, we're seeing blacking up, fascists attempting to speak, and more cases of shocking racism. Last week, I was contacted by two Muslim women students. They had both been the victims of a sustained campaign of hatred and abuse. The door to their flat was kicked down twice. They faced verbal abuse regularly, and their attackers even went as far as to urinate on their windows. I wish I could say that this was an isolated and a unique case, but it isn't. At least one in five black students will experience a racist hate crime during their time of study. But it's not actually all doom and gloom. We are organising, we are resisting, and we are fighting back against the racist tide. When the government tried to deport nearly 3,000 students from London Metropolitan University, we managed to stop them in their tracks after a massive campaign. We expose those who black up and mock and caricature what we look like because black faces are not fancy dress costumes. When fascists have tried to come onto our campuses, we've defended and stood up for our long-held policy of no platform for fascists. Not now, not ever. And finally, when a college in Birmingham tried to tell women what they can and can't wear and banned the Muslim veil, David Cameron came out in support of them and the college. But even with the support of the Prime Minister, they couldn't stop people power and we successfully overturned that ban. We say blame the bankers and Etonians, not burkers and hoodies. And let me be clear, all of this would not be possible without the immense support given to us day to day by Unite Against Fascism. If you uh, haven't been able to tell already, I'm from Essex. Uh, where I come from, the BMP held weekly.